Hey everyone, Tracy here. You ever wonder what that compare or add symbol button does and why you could use it? Let's go take a look. All right, so let's take a look at the compare or add symbol tool. Now, when you open up a chart, in the top middle, you're going to see a circle with a plus button. That is your compare or add symbol. You click on it, it's gonna take you to the compare symbol. Now, right now I have I have uh, Apple up on my chart and I wanna add the cues. So you can type in the cues or type in whatever you're looking for. Before you hit enter or before you select it, note that there's a couple different options. So the first option is same percent scale. Now what that does is actually change this scale along the right hand side to a percent and it'll overlay both the cues chart and the uh, Apple chart together. The new price scale, what it does is put a price on the left hand side overlaying the stock. Let's actually take a look at that one right now. So if we click on that, all right, now you can see that I have some candlesticks that are on my chart. Now, if you, if this is the first time you're doing this, it's probably gonna look like this, it's gonna look like a line chart. Now, what you can do is you go into the settings button and under style, you change it to candles. And then from there, you can go down and save that as your default, which I've already done. And then anytime you add it to your chart, it'll already have the candles and you don't have to uh, change it. You can make whatever customization you want through that little gearbox, okay? So now that you have that, what ends up happening, if you wanna move, like separate them out, you have to scale the Apple chart and then you can drag and move the Apple um, chart on the screen. Unfortunately, you're not able to, you can to do the same thing with the cues. You can scale it, but you can't move it. So the only one that's movable is the actual Apple chart. So why don't I like having it on here? It's great to see the actual correlation. You can see that today Apple is moving quite nicely or the cues are moving quite nicely with Apple. But let's say that I wanna mark something on the cues chart that I'm paying attention to. So let's say I put a line right here and then I go to move my Apple chart. Well, it moves the line with me. So any notations that I put on the cues chart gets moved when I move the Apple chart and I don't like that. So let's close this. And what we're gonna do is go back up to that compare or add symbol. We're gonna select the cues again and go to new pane. Now what that's gonna do is it's gonna put the candlesticks down in its separate chart or a separate box down below, okay? And you can still see the correlation, but now what ends up happening is if I add a line to the chart and then move the Apple chart, I can maintain my notations on this cues chart. So why would you even do this? What's the point? In trading, there are various instruments that actually work in correlation with others. Now, whether it be, uh, you know, some type of a currency with a commodity or whether it be an index and one of the major stocks that make up that index, for example, the Q's in Apple. Apple is the major holder within the Q's, so it has the biggest influence. So typically, you'd you end up finding that Apple runs very similarly with the cues. So from there, you can make your notations and maybe one's leading or lagging. So what you'd be wanting to do is look for support resistance on them. And when one of them reaches that support or resistance first, you can start to see what's happening in that area and how it's interacting. And that could give you kind of an edge on what may be happening in the correlated stock. All right. The other thing is you can find some divergence that might be happening within that. And divergence is simply uh, something that is different or it veers off differently. So those are just a few ways you can utilize the compare or add tool in TradingView. Happy trading, everyone. Remember to subscribe, like, and share if you found value in this video.